Once again, Netflix has added another Nollywood film that is based or set in the oil empire. If I'm being honest, going to this film, I had really low expectations for it. Yeah, I kept my expectation as low as possible because I didn't know how to be disappointed yeah. by anything. From seeing Anikola earlier this year and the same setting. The same time. Yes, a character, Bashanru, and I just went with the mind that I'm not going to like this film. But thankfully, when I saw it, I think it's okay. It's a decent one. Yeah, I think I enjoyed it. I thank God for that, that I liked it. House of Ga. So like I said, it's set in the ancient oil empire and it follows the life of a famed warrior, Ga, who in the opening scene, earned this victory with the Nupe people. Yeah. And for getting his victory, he was named Bashonru of the Oyo Empire. And now that he's Bashar, he's very ambitious and he'll stop at nothing to get what he wants, putting his family members in places of power and, and he's so powerful that he was even responsible for the death of several kings during his time as Bashar. After I've seen this film, that's when I realized that this is actually based on a real life from person, Ga, in the Oyo Empire that was appointed in 1750 and his um, time serving as Bashar ended in 17. 74. It's quite interesting that he had so much power. If you check the history of the oil messi, they wield some sort of power, like, but it's supposed to be checked on this part because this oil messi, the bachelor, they are, they are raised to check the power of the elephant. Yeah. So when the bachelor now becomes too powerful, so who is checking on it? It's interesting that he has so much power. It's nice that they are making these historical movies yeah. because we do not really know a lot of people have never heard of Gar before. Yeah. I think the story was okay. And they did not try to make it very complex. And thankfully, the acting was okay in this film, from Femi Branch to Micah Falari. I think the acting was okay. I thought there were irrelevant characters. Let me just put it straight. I thought there were a lot of irrelevant characters in this movie. Yes. Even the poor, like, oh, yes, they whipped that straight. I thought they were very irrelevant. They did not do anything outstanding or like, remarkable. I don't really have any particular one. I just feel that some people's performances are forgettable in yeah. the story i think that it was just the um guy himself that okay what is he going to do next then let me say the oh, yeah, story the love story you know that there's something that has going to happen here but every other ones they were just forgettable performances it's not like they have they were bad actors they're just forgettable yeah, performances they don't really make an impression because their characters were not really forefront oh, and God. center like the nupe girl the love story between ga and the nupe girl is not oh, really no love story then. yes no I, story. I i don't think that there was any consequence to their relationship because wait they introduced the character then he wanted her heart and her body he wanted her to love him but they don't really play the love story well so i don't think them even establishing that in the beginning of the story was necessary per se because i feel like their story did not play anything of consequences to the entire film that love story or whatever it was it was terrible nigerian movies i don't know why they make sex scenes as the most horrid thing to ever exist in this world it was disgusting most of the time most sex scenes in nigerian movies are always bad if we're not going to do sex scene well, why not just cut it out? Why I'm talking about this sex scene, I know that there was no love here. Yeah. But before they became intimate, she was happy that he saved her life yes. from the other wives who were jealous of her and everything. Mm -hmm. So she was like, oh my God, I'm happy now. I can give my heart and my body. So you expected some kind of love there, like, like tender a something. tender... It was like the, the R word. It was terrible. And that was also a scene to see that, okay, this man likes this no pay woman because after that scene she was, she was his favored wife if we're not going to be showing love well then let's cut it out yes and what i don't have a problem with is the i know i'm not judging anybody's body or how your body should look like but it's obvious that the breast is not real so what is the point of all this nudity because i feel like not some in nollywood films that are coming out these days i don't know but maybe it's for shock value but they just put this nude scene like but, because i don't think it's so necessary that image said oh i will give you my heart and my body and the scene does jump from my face to her boobs like she already on trial like it was not even like a slow you. pan this thing but you're like oh we can make prosthetic boobs and the boobs are they don't look real yeah sorry it, it, do, it doesn't really look it doesn't look real but maybe it's her body i don't know that's not her body. Those boobs do not look real. I don't have any favorite character, but if I'm going to give honor to all honor is due, I would say Femi Branch. He did well. Compared to the Bashan I saw earlier this year in Anikola, I think Femi Branch did amazing with this character. Except that sex scene. Okay, except from the explicit scene. I think Michael Fulani is really trying now. He has always been trying, honestly. If, I'm going to be honest. was, if I'm being honest, I think it's just Water and Gary that I say, okay, he was like Gary that film. In my opinion, no, it's, it's not about that. Though. I don't know about that, but that's where he like made an impression to me because the acting throughout that film was not great. 
So I like, okay, Mike, not bad. Then this one, mm -hmm. like, mm. I've seen him in good roles. He's okay. He's a good actor. He's trying. Yeah, I would love to see him. I hate that word, but he's trying. <laughs> I don't want to talk about the star studded cast. So if I, if I like, I talk for 100 or 500 videos yeah. talking about Nollywood star studded cast. I was talking about irrelevant cast. I think Bam Bam was irrelevant. It's not like they're irrelevant to the story because, okay, they're trying to show you House of God, how yeah, these people I mean. are going to fall down. You kind of compare to the four of the House of Usher show, but that was, that was a very, very far comparison. <laughs> Light years, like very far comparison. But at the same time, go think of it too. Yeah, it's like for family, family, family story and dynamics, yeah. just like, yeah. And the there was diabolical things in uh, Fall of the House of Usher too. Yeah. So if I'm going to talk about the entire makeup that okay is fulfilled, there are some characters that mm, we don't really care about them. At least Funke made her mark in the movie at least. Yeah, she tried. Okay, but the other wives, you know, there are two wives that are like stars there. I just feel like that role is not for you anymore. You should do something that will make you stand out and shine as the star that you are, a well established actor that you are. So I just feel like mm-mm, mm-mm. Even Teddy, I feel like that role is not really necessary. It was okay, but if you think of House of God, the first person you could think of is Femi Branch. Yeah. Then you think of Michael Polarin. You don't remember you and Tony Brian. But all put together, I think this movie is good. Yeah, I think it's, well, a, good I think it's a very decent one. I'm, they learned they learn how to ride a horse and the fighting skills. I think it showed in the film that, yeah, okay, this people went Daniel through Fox. vigorous efforts to learn these things. And Nigerian films should continue doing that. This is first time I'm really appreciating Bolanli Austin Peters' works. This is how. Yeah. Production. You can see that there was effort made. But yeah, the production made effort even yeah, for effort. putting out materials out yeah. there so you can know about the film. Yeah. I really yeah, appreciate yeah, that. Yeah. That, I, that. I think that's my favorite thing about this film that there are materials and things that you see yeah. out there that yeah, okay really for this film. This what it's about. This what we did here. This what happened behind the scenes. And most of the time, Nollywood yeah. does not give us, give us these things. So I really appreciate that fact. For production, minimal. So I'm gonna read this movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think it's just there. I think it's something that, like, yeah, it's just there. It's three stars. It's something that, okay, yes, they tried. It's four stars. So, yeah, four stars for me. Not perfect, but it's good. Yeah. I think I'll give it four. I want to give it five. I want to give it five, but I said, no, 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 no. That's going too big. <laughs> That's going too big. I but know. I saw efforts. So, yeah, four, four, or four and a half. Uh, I think I'll give it five stars. I it made me feel well. The singing, the cinematography was good. Yeah. Though the particular scene, I can't remember the scene, but the way they pan the camera and they did it, I'm like, oh, this is nice. This detail here is yeah. good. So I really enjoyed the film. Honest to God, this is also the first time I'm enjoying Tony Barham's acting. She was she's not uh, acting a lot of scenes, but she was okay. Yeah, so even. Funny enough, there was a scene where she was not even talking about her facial expression. I wasn't wanting to. I wasn't yes. want to know. Okay, what is she looking at? It doesn't. Like, it doesn't. The director really, one and like Ospitas really said, okay, I want the best out of you. Uh, even when I saw Femi Adebayo and Latifa Dedimeji, I was eyeballing them because I've seen um, these two men in good roles. Uh, Seeing them in Kesari, Kesari. <laughs> they were so bad in that movie. Like they, they, the acting was bad. It's as if every single person signed that, oh, I want to act bad in yes, this movie. I don't care. So seeing him here in this role and they are they are on their A game. Every single person was on their A game here. Every single person, even when I said Bam Bam's role was not really it was not really memorable. Yeah, but what she was fighting at the well. end. Yes, they acted well. Every single person acted well. You can only really call one person and say, Oh, you are bad, bad acting. acting. Even to the extras, no yeah. bad acting. So seeing those two men, this after body it was in Kesari, I was eyeballing them saying, Okay, you can act we look very good here. What were you doing in Kesari? I don't enjoy that performance so much in Jago Jago. And I did not like Kesari. So this morning I even saw it. Oh, I, I did not I, like Femi Adebayo's performance in Jago Jago. I didn't like it. Then when I saw them here, I wasn't really expecting much from them. But even when Femme was smiling and yeah. in one scene, I was like, okay, this that is actually good. I remember that scene very well. Yeah, I remember that scene. So, so, yeah, I think they did well. Kudos to everybody, cast and crew. I think five stars, four and a half stars. <laughs> yeah. That one so it, I think this is my favorite um, Nigeria movie of the year so far. I was in another one. I don't think I have, we have. I don't think so. Yeah, so tell us what you read. Um, well, House, of House of God. Do not forget to like. I'm happy that I will like this movie because when I saw the trailer, I did not like the trailer at all. I was very excited yeah, to watch it. I was positive for it. <laughs> so, yeah. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, do take good care of yourself. Goodbye.